They were tearing the big novelty ticket at the new Cityplex 12 Theater on Springfield Avenue, bigger and better than the theater that was here before, which had failed to catch on with Newarkers and closed. But this is a new day, say city officials, including Mayor Cory Booker and Newark native Shaquille O'Neal, who joined the investment team that took over and expanded the theater just off the downtown commercial district. I would come in here when this thing was falling apart, the floor was so sticky, your shoes would come off when you walked, and people never gave up on it. But like many stories that come from this city, this triumph too was tempered by tragedy. This was the scene on Clinton Avenue the morning after a 19-year-old bodega clerk was shot and killed in an apparent robbery. For residents here where shootings are all too common, the movies was the last thing they wanted to talk about. They so fast to build buildings up in here that they don't hold no type of uh, 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 economically jobs for any anybody in the young youth. So when they come out of jail or, or programs, there's nothing there for them. This is the battle that the city fights every day. On the one hand, here's Mayor Booker, the personification of Newark across the country, cutting ribbons and talking up housing figures that suggest a resurgence in Brick City. But at the same time, on the same day, here's Booker, having to answer questions about the darker side of life here. You have a choice in circumstances like this. You can let these evil people who continue to do this kind of thing win, um, and you can uh, close up shop or, or curse the darkness, or you can continue to work against this. This is not a Newark problem. This is happening from Chicago to New York to Oakland to Los Angeles. We have a violence problem in the United States of America. But on this stretch of Clinton, close-knit, poor, and working class, the sense among many residents is that their city their police, their mayor, have abandoned them. Where he lived at over in Hillside where the nice houses at, there's not too much crime over there. But see, when you come down here, stuff got to always keep happening, yes. You can't blame a mayor for every person who decides to stick up a bodega. Still, this is a city whose image is so tied in with that of its mayor that it's difficult to separate one from the other sometimes. Today's theater opening took place less than a mile from here and attracted a lot of media. Behind me, another Newark family is broken today, and that is attracting a lot of media too, because both of those stories represent life today in Brick City. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.